Be the boss of your attitude, meaning that you can engineer your own life. Price Pritchett teaches us how we manage adversities, challenges, even opportunities. This is reflected in the results that we have today. The important thing is that he teaches us is recognize opportunities. In his book, U Squared, Price Pritchett tells us to welcome quantum leaps. We don't seek quantum leaps. We make ourselves welcome them, welcome to their opportunities. And this simply happens when we open ourselves to the good in life. It's natural for us to criticize, to complain, to become afraid. However, we have to train ourselves that when challenges and adversities occur, we have to tap down the negative. He asks us in his book, Heart Optimism, what's more important, what's happening to you or how you manage life's challenges? For example, Captain Dan, with whom I worked with at his really cool company, it's a boat charter called Dolphin Landings. He was building a boat, a 51-foot sailboat with his friend named Bob. Bob was diagnosed with a terminal illness, brain cancer. When they were working together on the boat and then when they would go out sailing on one of Captain Dan's other fleets, he noticed that Bob truly forgot all of his illness, his worries, his pains, and it made Bob, it made Dan realize that he had an opportunity to serve other people besides just his friend and taking him out on his fleet of sailboats and helping him work on his sailboat. Dan created a nonprofit from this experience with his friend Bob called Soothe Our Souls. Soothe Our Souls nowadays, once a month, once a month serves people with mental and physical disabilities. They come out on his fleet of sailboats for free. You must register. You must reserve. But this has been an operation, I would say, seven to ten years now. And it all came about with watching his friend overcome adversities in his life. He made the best of what, to many of us, would be such a traumatic experience. Think about this. If you are diagnosed with a terminal illness, you have choices. I have a friend who had a double mastectomy. She was pissed off at the world and everybody for over a year. And now she is managing it through understanding that life has challenges and adversities for us. And darn it, she's going to kick cancer to the curb. In my own life, I own 22 acres and three houses, one of which was a beautiful bed and breakfast. I recently sold it. And because of the economy, I did not get enough money after 22 years. Now, was I scared? Was I afraid for, the, for my future? Absolutely. However, I didn't stay there for long. I stayed there for a couple of weeks. I had already been working on Plan B, a, a, another division of my business, Shea Valerie, one that would be mobile. I could live anywhere in the world, which happens to be Portugal. But I was already making plans in case something happened with the sale of my property. Speaking of fear of the future and also emotional fatigue, one of the things that helped me through this was my kundalini yoga teacher, who I study with virtually now since I don't live in New York, and also the whole aspect of meditation. Price Pritchett teaches us to tap down the negative and to raise our vibration. And for me, one of the best ways to do that is to practice yoga daily and practice meditation daily, especially when you first wake up and maybe for just a little bit before you go to bed. Harpakash teaches a class called Relieving Emotional Fatigue, Fear and Fear of the Future, and it works wonders. I will tell you something really interesting about this specific recording. She was doing this She in the height of the pandemic. She was offering us virtual classes for free. I have a Siamese cat who unfortunately recently died, 
but he's actually recorded in this video that she was making. He's been he's been dead for a year, and, and I just started listening to this again. I couldn't believe I have the voice of my Siamese, which, ah, crying, which I love so much. But it's actually really, really cool to listen to him every morning. So remember, when you face adversities, you have options to get away from all this negativity. Open yourself to quantum leaps. Open yourself to opportunities. In the world of wine, there is a really cool newsletter called 750. Have the link in my podcast details. This company started out really just helping us wine salespeople with strategic and specific detailed information about wine that we sell. However, for you non-geeks, it's a great newsletter to learn about new trends in the world. They even mention in every newsletter some kind of new wine or something that's being changed in France or Portugal or in Spain that will really help you understand the world of wine, how it's changing, but find new wines also. Now, I know this is dry January for a lot of people, but I also recognize that if you are going through an adverse time, the last thing you want to do is imbibe. Though when you drink too much, it creates hormones that cause anxiety and fear. Therefore, let's try the mocktails. If you're going out with friends, simply ask for ginger beer and cranberry juice or ginger beer and grapefruit juice. Make up your own mocktail, but you can ask. The bartenders now have these amazing cocktails that are mocktails, no alcohol that they create. Also, if you simply just want to cut back on alcohol, I do love Angry Orchard's hard apple cider. Now, again, you have options even when it comes to drinking. To wrap this up, remember, be your own boss of your attitude. You are the engineer of your life. Check out Price Pritchett's books. They're audio books. They are only $10. This man has a magnificent company. He works the world over, and he is not a young man. He works with corporations. He works with individuals. He is the master of taking quantum leaps. He is the master of teaching us hard optimism, which we need in this day. Yoga practice, meditation practice, Kerry Kopasek's Made in, Medi- Made in Meditation is such a fun meditation site because she always has an art project going on with children. Lastly, check into Mocktails, check into the Angry Orchard. It's my favorite. Any, any hard apple cider from New York is going to be good. Lastly, I'm Valerie Hale. I create this podcast on a weekly basis to help people create a blueprint for their ideal life. Merci. Au revoir.